Hey, welcome to the vlog. So to be a WordPress professional, what do you need to bring to the table? What skills do you need to be able to deliver? WordPress professionals are in super high demand. First thing I should point out. And they bring a unique set of skills that you don't see in other types of development. So let me just list them out in bullet points. Number one, of course, you got to know how to install and configure WordPress. You should know all the settings, all the different user types. This way, you'll be able to direct your clients in terms of how to set this up. This is just the basic aspects of the software. The second thing you got to know is the ecosystem. You have to understand all the different options that the WordPress world provides for users. And that means the themes and the plugins and the services. This is key because, as you know, if you've been working with WordPress at all, you know that the WordPress ecosystem is vast, is huge. And that's one of the reasons why WordPress is such an important platform. You have so many options in terms of themes and plugins. WP Forms is the most popular and beginner-friendly drag-and-drop form builder for WordPress. You can create anything from a simple contact form to a powerful payment form to accept orders and donations. Leverage conditional smart conditional logic to create dynamic forms that respond to customers' input and more, all without writing any code or developer help. In just a few clicks, you can integrate your forms with popular email marketing services like MailChimp to automatically add users to your mailing list when a user submits a form and industry staple payment providers like Stripe, PayPal, and Authorize.net to accept payments for orders, donations, and even subscriptions. Once a form is submitted, you can access your user submitted form data in our easy to read entry pages, keeping all of your important business leads together in one place, saving you precious time you can spend on expanding your business. Check out the link below to access WP Forms and take advantage of all its capabilities. Now, with this vast WordPress ecosystem and all the plugins, all the themes, the problem is, is that you have to be able to navigate all of these tools. There's so many themes which are good, which aren't so good, which are better suited towards a certain type of application. For example, you may have a client who needs to put up an e-commerce site. What WordPress themes better facilitate the whole e-commerce experience? Now, it depends on the type of e-commerce. Is it physical products? Is it digital products? Is it a mixture of both? What happens if your client wants to be able to, to deliver a podcast? Again, what themes, what plugins would be useful in that endeavor? There's so many out there, they're not all good. There's some great ones out there, some not so good. So as a WordPress professional, you should have that knowledge. You, sh you should know the go-to themes for very, uh, how should I say, very popular applications. So for example, you may find yourself in a niche where you're producing a lot of WordPress themes for uh, real estate agents. So. I know there are WordPress themes for real estate agents, for realtors out there, but which ones are best, for example? How about a WordPress theme for restaurateurs or coffee shops? Again, there are several themes out there. Which ones are best? What do you mean by best, Steph? Meaning they're secure, they're solid, maybe they got good support, they're easy to edit, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Same thing with the plugins, of course. There are so many plugins out there. The commercial plugins are typically the better ones because the code is more solid, it's maintained, you got some support, but there's also a lot of free plugins as well. But again, depending on the needs of your client, depending on the needs of the site, certain plugins will work out well, certain ones won't. You have built-in plugins that come in with WordPress, like the Askumit uh, plugin in terms of the uh, filtering out all the spam. That's another thing that comes to mind. When you're setting up the WordPress site for your clients, you have to figure out, are they going to be writing regular posts? Are they going to be allowing comments on the site? If they allow comments, what plugins should you activate so that you don't get too many comment spams on the site? It goes on and on and on and on. In addition to the core WordPress, there's also, of course, the marketing. Somebody puts up a site, 
typically they want people to visit the site. So you're going to have to look at things like social media marketing, maybe Google marketing, AdSense, Facebook ad purchases, etc. There's a lot of tools, plugins, etc. that can integrate with these third-party applications and third-party sites and services. Again, something to consider. Vimeo as an option, YouTube as an option. For example, perhaps your client, the realtor, will say as an example, is going to be taking 3D video or 360 video rather of the houses that they want to sell. How do you set up that workflow so that it works for them? Again, this is all about understanding WordPress. It's all about understanding the WordPress ecosystem and a WordPress professional knows these things. Now, do you have to be a master developer coder to work with WordPress? Of course not. Do you, can you get by working with WordPress without knowing any code? You can get by, no question, but if you just know the front end and a little bit of PHP, that means a little HTML, a little CSS, a smidgen of JavaScript, and you learn at least fundamental PHP, then you're going to be equipped coding-wise to be able to tackle WordPress and do just about anything you want to do with it. For example, when you're working with WordPress themes, the themes are basically just a bunch, bunch of PHP pages. So that includes HTML code in there, CSS code in there, some JavaScript code, and of course, PHP code. So you won't be writing too much PHP code when you're building themes, but you should know what the code looks like, and you should understand what the code is doing if you want to be comfortable editing those themes. So I hope that helps. Uh, the WordPress professional is an extremely viable professional for freelancers and whatnot. There's so many jobs to be had since WordPress is so popular. It's easily by far the most popular content management system in the world. Hope that helps. Bye-bye.